Great news, guys. We're all going to be rich, probably. We need straight bets to pay for all our lottos. Everybody knows that. Lucky for us, I've got two for tonight that have no chance of losing as of right now. What's even better is, one is a plus 152 banger that dreams are made of. We'll get to those in just one second, but first, do me and you a favor by subscribing to this channel. We talk about sports betting strategies all the time, and if we're being honest, you'd make a great addition. In fact, we even go live at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday every single week, and we have the best chat in the game today. For that reason, Get the notifications on too when you subscribe. You don't want to miss any of that. Anyways, our first bet of the night is on a guy called Matt Waldron. Over four and a half strikeouts, minus 104 at Caesars. People are calling this the sneakiest bet in the history of sneaky bets. Nobody's on this thing. Nobody sees it coming, including the books. Maybe it's just because people don't like betting knuckleballers to strike guys out. But guess what? Knuckleballers strike guys out all the time. Especially this guy. He started five games this season, and he's fanned at least five guys in three of them. That's almost 60%. And one of the ones he missed was against the Toronto Blue Jays, who don't strike out. That game doesn't even count. We would have never bet him to strike five of those guys out. In fact, we probably would have had the under, which would have been a win for us. And the other one he missed was when he only struck out four Los Angeles Dodgers. The guy was literally right there, one strikeout away. He probably got squeezed multiple times by the umps too. But tonight, he's going to get a little bit of help from his opponent, the Cincinnati Reds. Over the last week, only one team in the entire league has struck out more times than they have. We're talking 65 strikeouts in just 192 at-bats. What the hell is that? It literally looks like they're closing their eyes and just swinging. It's bad. But here's the thing. I don't think they turn it around tonight. We already know that Waldron is a knuckleballer, but he also has a sweeper he throws to lefties that's kind of legit. We're talking 44% CSW. That's pretty good. That's important because Will Benson, Ellie De La Cruz, Jake Fraley, Nick Martini, and Jameer Candelario could all be in the lineup tonight. None of those dudes do well with sweepers from righties. That's five strikeouts right there. Now, obviously, Waldron doesn't have the kind of stuff to go out there and set a single-game record for strikeouts tonight, but we don't need him to. He should see 20-plus batters, and all we need him to do is sit down five of them. That feels easy. Now, the other bet we have is a little bit more scary, but the payout is good enough to make it a go. Bryce Miller over 5.5 Ks, plus 152 at Caesars. The scary part is, this guy's pitching to the Atlanta Braves tonight. Those guys mash. But another thing they've been doing lately is striking out. Over the last week, they fanned 49 times in just 171 at-bats. That ain't good. Ben Lively just got five of them yesterday. Tanner Bibby got nine of them the day before that. All I'm saying is, these guys are ripe. They're striking out. And this is the first time they traveled west this season. It takes a couple days to start seeing the ball after long flights like that, probably. So they should have problems. The other thing we have going for us is this thing is plus EV at Caesars. I got it straight from the plus EV tool at Odds Jam. While every other market on the planet is around plus 125, we're getting plus 152 at Caesars. That is crazy. It's called a deal, and it means the market agrees with us. And for good reason. I think Bryce is on the come up. Plus, he likes pitching at home. He's a home guy. In three home starts this season, he's gone over this number in two of them. The only time he didn't was when he only got four Chicago Cubs. But that was a weird day for everybody. He struggled with his command all game long, but he always comes back after a bad game like that. He struggled with his command last time out, and he still fanned five Texas Rangers. I think he's going to be good to go to get a six Atlanta Braves tonight. And when he does, we'll cash a plus 152 ticket like it's no big deal. Feels right. I'll see you guys on the live stream later. We're going to hit a nice home run lotto. I think we might do the seven to get us a milli. That seems pretty fun. And we're going to look at the NBA as well. So don't forget to get the notifications on.